This Gen 2 update will change AI video generation to the point where you can call it Gen 3. Runway's Gen 2 is all about creating videos with its new update. People are calling it a pivotal moment in generative AI. But what exactly is this Gen 2 update? And how is it changing the game? Initially, Gen 2 allowed users to generate short videos. By typing text prompts or uploading images, unlike its predecessor, Gen 1, which required you to upload existing video clips, Gen 2 gave you more creative control. Now, the latest update takes things a step further. The motion in AI-generated videos is even smoother, sharper, and more realistic. Just to give you an idea of the excitement surrounding this update, here are some quotes from X. The future of AI filmmaking is here. Game-changing. Massive improvements. And pivotal moment in generative AI. The consensus is clear. This is a significant leap forward. In August, Runway added a feature called Director Mode letting you control the direction and intensity of the camera movements. In your AI-generated videos, no real camera is involved. It's all simulated by the Gen 2 model. The resolution of Gen 2 videos from still images has been upgraded significantly, going from this to this. This means higher quality videos with fewer artifacts which is fantastic news for AI creatives and filmmakers. Runway's Gen 2 update. A true game changer in AI video generation, but let's not just take our word for it. The founder and CEO of Runway, Cristobal Valenzuela is a true believer in this transformation. He sees technology as a tool for storytelling. Beyond our wildest imaginations, creative software is dead. You are limited by the knowledge and experience of mastering a tool, but now machines draw, we direct. We create with machines that can create anything. Constraints come from a lack of imagination, not from a lack of specialized knowledge. The most successful creators will be the most imaginative. It's the end of an era, but the beginning of a much more exciting one. Like beginning of physical filmmaking in the 1920s.